everyone and welcome back to another Unity 3D tutorial. In this one I'll be showing you guys how to set up a simple directional light. I know I haven't covered this in any of the previous tutorials which I'm kind of surprised I haven't because a lot of people who are setting up different types of terrain and environments want some kind of directional light that can cast shadows onto the ground and different other objects. So I guess before we get started I should let you guys know that um, I'm going back to work for Activision next month. Uh, sometime early January so I don't know if I'm gonna be making more tutorials or not after that time um, I'm kinda of slow at making tutorials right now because I've been really busy working on all these different projects and some other things but I'll try getting around to making some more tutorials just no one has really been um, leaving comments of what type of tutorials they want so I've had kind of a tough time thinking of what to create um, I just want to create some simple quick tutorials that can teach you guys how to implement something useful into your game. So if anybody has any suggestions or feedback on that, please feel free to leave it in the comments so I can get around to making those tutorials. So yeah guys, uh, let's just get started with the tutorial real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, go to Game Object, Create Other, and we're going to be creating um, a directional light. Now it's going to look kind of weird right now, um, but we'll get that all fixed. So it's pretty much no shadows, nothing. Everything's just really bright. Um, so we can change some, some of this. You can change it to hard shadows, you can change it to soft shadows, whatever you guys want to do. Um, change the different quality, whatever resolution. Um, I'll just set this for very high. Render mode, important. Light mapping. So it, for this, uh, you can just leave that in auto. But if you want to save on performance, maybe you're doing a mobile game and you're not animating the sun for different um, different light patterns when it's going around, um, you can change this to something else. So baked, it'll just bake into the ground and it won't update in real time. So if you move this around, it won't update. And real time only, the shadows just update in real time. So for now, we're just going to leave that at auto. Now you kind of know that no shadows are showing up right now, even though we have that all set up. And this is because we need to change some of the project settings. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, save effect. There we go. So if you crank that up to a really high number, um, it'll display the shadows. Some people are not going to not know how to do this, so I guess it's a good thing that I'm showing you guys how to do this. Color production. And you can get some higher quality detail. If you're not doing something that's totally detailed, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah. Now if you see here, I have a lot of awkward looking shadows, and that's pretty much because of how I have everything set up here. So it's going to look really weird for mine. If you just had a flat ground. I wonder if I can just click on this and close it. See, if you see right here, we have some really nice shadows. It's just the way that I set up my um, under terrain. I have another plane on top of it. Um, I should have been using just normal terrain object to do that. But you can see that the shadows really aren't any different than that. So I'll just leave that for now. And I can show you a little bit of the character shadows that show up as well. So as my character walks, you see that his shadow is cast onto the ground. And it gives a pretty cool effect. I'm not sure why Unity made it so you have to change that setting to get the shadows to show up like that, because some people will think that it's some kind of bug. Because at first I thought it was a bug that shadows were not showing up until I started messing with a lot of the settings. But you can see you have some really cool shadow effects that show up. And another thing you guys can do is you could create a simple script, um, transform.rotation, and you can add in three different parameters for that, um, for the X, Y, and Z. Uh, you could look it all up in the Unity documentation, but um, you could do time.delta time for either X, Y, or Z, and it'll rotate um, the actual directional light itself. So if you rotated it, let's see here, which axis is this going to go? A bunch of different axes. <laughs> okay, so I guess you'll probably have to just mess around with that. 
but you can adjust for what time of day it is. And you can see the shadows slowly changing as it goes, just like that. So during nighttime, you can change how um, like the moon displays or the sun. And another cool thing you can do with this is set up um, a lens flare. So if you go uh, assets, import package, and you'll find some of the stuff down here. And I believe, let's see, light flares. If you click on that and you import the package, it'll have everything in there. You can import it. You can see the simple lens flares here and you can attach it to this sun object. So when you're, depending on where the sun is casting from, you'll see it in the sky, it show up and it'll look like a sun. Um, I'm sure there's other places to download more effects similar to that, um, that'll make it look like a more realistic feeling um, sun. Because the one that they have built into, or with the free asset is kinda not that great. But yeah, hopefully this helps you guys out and you can add some cool shadows to your game. Later.